Welcome to Catherine's ANSI's tutorial. In just a few moments, you'll embark on a journey of mastering this powerful engineering simulation software. Get ready to unlock new possibilities and enhance your skills. Let's dive in. Welcome to our tutorial on creating a NACA airfoil in ANSI space claim. In this video, we will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of generating a NACA airfoil geometry using ANSI space claim software. So let's dive right in. But before we begin, let's quickly understand what NACA airfoils are and why they are important in the field of aerodynamics. NACA, NACA airfoils are a series of airfoil shapes developed by the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. These airfoils have specific parameters, such as maximum camber, location of maximum camber, and maximum thickness, that define their shape and influence their aerodynamic characteristics. This NACA airfoil series is controlled by four digits. We will take NACA 2412 for an example. M is the maximum camber divided by 100. In the example M equals 2, so the camber is 0.02 or 2% of the cord. P is the position of the maximum camber divided by 10. In this example P equals 4, so the maximum camber is at 0.4 or 40% of the cord. XX is the thickness divided by 100. In this example XX equals 12, so the thickness is 0.12 or 12% of the cord. Essential Elements To define a point in a 2D space, we need two coordinates which is X and Y. We need four points to make a rectangle. The same way, we need a set of points to create an airfoil. The formula used to calculate the mean camber line is where M is the maximum camber and P is the location of maximum camber. For our example, a NACA 2412 airfoil uses a 2% camber, 40% along the cord of a 0012 symmetrical airfoil, having a thickness 12% of the cord. For this cambered airfoil, because the thickness needs to be applied perpendicular to the camber line, the coordinates of respectively the upper and lower airfoil surface, become. Please note these equations, we need these equations to define the point set. Next step is, launching ANSI space claim and creating a new project. Open ANSI space claim and create a new project or open an existing one. This is the user interface of ANSI space claim. Let's make a cube. It is very user-friendly software. Now we will make an airfoil using Python script. Click on Design. Activate script by clicking on it. Copy and paste the airfoil script into this workplace. This module provides access to the mathematical functions. Enter the NACA airfoil parameters. For us it is NACA 2412. Therefore, M equals 0.02, P equals 0.4 and T will be 0.12. We will define 100 points for upper and lower surfaces. This part is for the calculations of NACA airfoil coordinates. We will store upper surface X coordinates in this array. Same for the Y coordinates of upper surface and same for the lower surface point coordinates. A for loop is used for iterating over a sequence. Expression for the X coordinate for each increment. Initial assumption for YC. 
yt is half thickness at a given value of x and its expression will be mean camber line expression with if else condition yc up to p which is the location of maximum camber and its derivation expression yc and its derivation in else condition theta expression Expressions for calculating coordinates Coordinate value will be stored after each iteration in respective array with below expressions. In the last step, we will draw the airfoil surface by connecting defined points. Now we will join the respective x and y coordinate values for the upper surface in this array. With this expression, we will get the upper sketch. Same for the lower surface. Now we will execute the script. You can see NACA 2412 airfoil shape. Let's make different airfoil. Change parameters. Execute script. You can see that symmetrical airfoil is generated. We will extrude this airfoil shape. You can see that the trailing edge is not closed. Let's close this by editing sketch. This is how you get 3D shape of NAC airfoil. Now we will change the script to get close trailing edge. There is only one change which is an equation of yt. We will change this value of 1015 to 1036. Let's rerun the script. Check value in edited script. You can see that edges are closed. Now we will extrude this airfoil shape. Provide dimension and hit the enter key. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe this channel to get more updates. Please provide your comment to know valuable suggestions to improve this channel.